How's it going guys? Anthony Pearson here. In this video, I'm going to talk about my journey from knowing nothing to working with software for a living and a couple of tips on how to get started and get a position as a software developer. For those watching this channel, you may know nothing about code since this channel is mostly about cooking and doing small projects. However, Young Young started with her code learning experience, also wanted me to share some of my experiences as well. So I said fine, and it looks like we're going to have another topic to this channel about software development. Give it away, I said. So let's begin talking about myself, and one of the first mistakes I make is talking about when I was born in Miami, Florida. I won't make this mistake again. I promise. Okay, let's fast forward to the first computer I bought in high school. I had Visual Studio installed. I wrote my first apps that did Hello World. So basically, I was interested in computers and software, but I really didn't know what I was doing up until college. And college would turn my trash developer skills to not so trash, Ooh. to hireable. <laughs> I remember declaring your major in college would be pretty important to do that early on, but that wasn't too big of a problem. The situation was, should I go the software route or the hardware route? That was between computer science and hardware engineering. I think I enjoy the software side way more. So computer science it was. Yay! So the courses began and the challenges presented themselves. Computer science is very difficult. No! Mostly because you had to take a minor's worth of math classes but that's a different story. The point is anything new to do is difficult to do, some less than others. But as Young Young has answered in previous videos, there's a few different paths that you could also take in lieu of getting a computer science degree. But getting a computer science degree is definitely the lengthiest and most costly of the options that she showed in the previous video. In the end, it was well worth it for me and the college experience that came with it. Great. Now, do you need a master's degree to get a software development job? Maybe. What? But it depends on you. I would say look at the individual yourself. Ask yourself, can you truly dedicate time to self-study and truly focus your mind without distraction every day? If you say definitely yes, then a master's degree you could probably do on your own. I would look up some free, cheap courses online. There's a bunch of them. My favorite is Pluralsight. And I would recommend to learn and study an hour at least a day for a year. Build up your resume with computer projects throughout the year. Take on a project for a nonprofit or find a software internship. Push yourself to think outside the box. Look at meetups. Find a, another mentor that could help you or a partner that you could code together with. If you truly can't find time to focus, or you just want a more traditional route, then getting a master's degree is my recommendation. Now there's always a middle ground and Young Young explains in the previous video that are boot camps that are much cheaper than getting a computer science degree. And sometimes it could be free. But do you have to get a computer science degree to have an employer take you seriously? No! As Young Young also explains, there are way more computer jobs than anything else. I've got a tip for those trying to get a job in the field. Are you ready for this? Well, make sure you like this video before I tell you. And thank you if you already have. My biggest tip is you always have to be learning new technologies and applying those new learnings to personal projects. The key is to put them on your resume, otherwise no recruiter is going to see them. And this is where I became a little bit more classy in my development. Wow. If you're interested in some of the projects that I've made, check out my GitHub page in the link below. And you can search for all of my dumpster fire, I mean juicy projects. Ah. I'm not sure what type of projects I would want to talk about, but you could generalize that they're mostly web-based projects that look at new, new technologies. And then I just want to create a new project and learn that new technology on that. <laughs> Oh, and if you are interested in any of my cloud infrastructure projects with like AWS, and I would say I would have a pretty lousy history, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm trying to get better. I'm sorry, company XYZ. Oh no! Just kidding. There's no company XYZ. Don't worry about that. Okay, basically I didn't touch on anything after college, and that's something that Young Young really wanted me to touch on after college and how I got a job and and basically I thought I had a job lined up north of Minnesota, went up there, 
did the interview and I did one of those darn personality competency tests and I think I basically butchered it and failed in what the experience meant. I had to go look for another job and apply and the search was, I would say, pretty long and that was frustrating, but I did find a better job at a company called Trend. There I had a great experience building medical software. After a few years at ImageTrend, I transitioned to consulting work for a couple of years and currently work at Mountain Technologies as myself, Wow! an employee and the owner. And let me know if you want me to touch more on that and my personal experiences and stories on, on that. But you have to comment below. So with that, I thank you for watching to the very end. I would sure be glad to talk about anything that I've missed and be sure to subscribe down below for future videos on tips and tricks on how to do interviews. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.